Hello everybody, boa noite a todos. Vou falar rapidamente em português em, e vou falar em português e em inglês, porque a aula está em inglês e eu vou explicar para vocês em português, ok? So if you speak in English only, just please be patient. This is an explanation for my friends and my students and everybody in Brazil that doesn't speak English, uh, that don't speak English, sorry. <laughs> I have to practice English as well myself. Então eu vou explicar para vocês rapidamente sobre essa aula, tá? Essa é uma aula de mola. Nós estamos extraindo a qualidade de um movimento que a gente chama na nossa escola de mola. Eu sei que tem outros nomes e tal. É um movimento que eu acho lindo, eu acho que é um movimento... Meu mestre sempre passou, quando você vê alguns mestres que fazem desse movimento uma arte, né? Você vê o mestre, o grão mestre Dunga, ele faz essa mola... Nossa, outros movimentos que vêm depois, fica a coisa mais linda. Essa explicação é para dizer que eu vou cada vez mais fazer aulas onde eu falo em português e inglês. Eu falo muito em português com os meus alunos. Mas essa aula que vocês vão assistir, ela está em inglês, porque ela, está, ela foi para os meus alunos aqui de Londres, muita gente nova, começando capoeira agora. E, que, e eu estou explicando para eles os movimentos primeiro, tá bom? Então é isso, aproveitem. É uma aula baseada na estrutura. No começo, eu estou tirando todos os... Tirando até o sentimento do movimento, para explicar, para quebrar, para ir aos pouquinhos construindo. Do meio para o final da aula, você começa a ver aonde eu começo a colocar outros sentimentos, trazer a metáfora desse, desse movimento lindo que mola. É tão legal porque a mola, ela estica, ela vai, ela volta, mas depois ela está sempre na posição original onde ela começou. Então, é isso, galera. Aproveito e peço a vocês para, por favor... Aí, deixar o seu like aí, né, é importante, pra ajuda bastante. E colocar um comentário aí na aula que vocês gostaram, manda pros amigos de vocês, tá bom? Então é isso, um abraço e espero te ver na próxima também. Tchau, tchau. Vivaldi, não é? Spring, spring. But I am not talking about that kind of spring. <laughs> no, I'm talking about another kind of spring. This one here. Today's class will be a spring. Uma coisa que vai jogar vocês para cima. É, vai levantar a moral de vocês completamente. Mas não é só isso, não. Deixa eu explicar para vocês. Spring. Uh, spring, sprung, sprung, spring, sprung, uh, move suddenly upwards or forward, forwards, forwards, is in plural here, or forwards in a single motion, jump. Now you're coming back to the song, everything's making sense. Uh, develop unexpectedly, oh, I see, that's a good word, unexpectedly, and then it talks about spring as winter and summer. That's not the spring we're going to do. Jump, coil, which can be compressed, is stretched or bent and returns to its original shape. Ah? I wrote that. No, it's a, it, it. To its original shape. Hang on, I keep going here. When release, uh, natural pool forms and strings, uh, and it goes on about something else here. Very clean, spring cleaning, that's very clean. Part of it as well. Uh, it's clean throughout, spring tight. I think you get the idea, na é verdade? And this is the class today, because you have asked again for the mola, né? Eu fiz a aula da armada e da mola, 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 M-O-L-A. E, first of all, I lost that class, né? I did on my, I filmed on the iPad, a beija-flor, não sei o quê. Did some people just arrive? Because I just played the entire track of Vivaldi Spring and I read on the dictionary and I said the story and I danced and you arrived late and you miss my dance, you miss my, my um, book, you miss my book, you miss my dance, not fair, but you're welcome, stay. 
Please stay. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> Before I say hello to you properly, now I'm going to read something else because I know some other people are going to be late and then uh, by the time I start the class. Now, this is badly written because I'll just uh, I'll explain to you quickly. I write, this is why I write. Blah, and then after, if you look at the footnotes, which is at the top in my case, I, uh, I always say, Tidy up, clean, blah blah blah. But it's beautiful, no? Eh? Tá bonito, eh? Okay. Well, it doesn't matter how good it is. It matters that it's beautiful. It doesn't matter the content. Anyway, so I I wrote this. I am deeply deeply interested in this subject. What is the life or the vitality of each movement, from its birth to its execution? The how, the when, the why of each movement, um, either by themselves or part of a chain of ideas. To go deep into the molecule of each movement is to discover and to. Uh, I cannot understand my own writing. Oh, and is to dive in uh, very deep into the soul of the movement. How many parallels? It's also to discover how many parallels and how connected everything is. You can start by studying the physical qualities of the movement, such as the spring quality up and down, just the basic physical qualities of the movement, uh, before you get into the feelings, the metaphors, and so on. By this study, you start to extract the essence. And then, when you can do that, you can play with the ideas, you can harvest whichever part you want. You can also transform them into drills. Mm. And then I wrote bigger. I don't know if you can see. Why is this important? Why is this important? Because you may ask, why is this important? Because some movements are so complex that they can't be understood without this particular, particular, particular work. Particular work. Okay? So basically what I'm saying is uh, a lot of a lot of our journey now is precisely that. So when we did that Beja Floor class, we didn't actually do a Beja Floor, but the whole class was about extracting qualities of the movement, essence, everything that I'm just talking about, in order to present as drills for you, okay? So today we're gonna do a class based on this idea for the molar, for the entrance of kicks and everything. A reminder to you guys that this kind of classes, they can cover all levels. And we start with something that will then be polished later. That's a very important part of our work, that something it's uh, at its rudimental form first, quite sometimes stiff, so the lines can be seen. And then we start to shape and to feel the movement. As I said, the feelings come out after and we see where we can go together with this. Okay? Let's go, get ready. Now, if you really, really relax your body here, and just get a little happier on the feet using that bounciness. Again, quite spring like, yeah? Keep going, quite spring like. Let's move in here. Now we just lift, just lift your toes. That's it. So I'm balancing on the back foot. Okay, a little stretch on your legs there. Pull your hip forward. change okay we're gonna use okay we're gonna do some movements here just to loosen up this area again adding the idea of a, of a bounce of a spring okay and down from here 
Okay? We are, my, my back knee could go to the floor. So if I put my knee on the floor, I would be in this posture. Okay, this is important just so you know that you're not like that. You are a little bit more narrow. And then we're just going to do a little travel. But as I go forward, guys, really think about that back foot pushing you forward. And you see how sometimes you're not doing that, how you're just using the front leg to grip. But I want you to propel the body. This is actually really good for your knees as well, okay? Keep your hands to support wherever they feel easier. Or oh, fingertips, and this is great warm up for your knees. So we're going here, three, quatro, cinco, seis, sete. Lift your chest a little bit, oito, nove, dez. Okay, now we're going to turn the back foot and place the back foot on the floor, so your heel on the floor. And then lift your hip, and then we're going to go for a gentle stretch on the front leg here. Um. Dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Ok, voltou. Now we're gonna change side, ok? So we're back here, we're going back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Now, can you use your back foot? to push you forward and um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez, then we turn the back foot, straight your front leg and just stretch forward, um, dois, três, quatro, Cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Bend both knees, come back to center now. Now from here we're just going to close your feet and come back up slowly. And back up slowly, slowly, slowly. Lift your hand towards the ceiling. And open. Okay. So we're going to get a little bit deeper into our legs now. So we go back from here, and we're just going to lift the knee, like before sharper. Just a kick posture there, okay? From here, up and down. Right leg behind. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez, um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Change side. Vamos aquecer. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to start to work on some elements now. And this time is where I'm going to set an exercise. And it's important now that I watch you guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to mark a half of a molar. So we want to turn that foot. I'm going to lean forward. So it's a side stretch. Let's think of the movement as a stretch. From here, my hands are in front and I'm going to hold that position and I'm going to turn the foot out and I come back in. That's it. So go here, turn, come back in. Okay. Dois, três, quatro, cinco, so I'm turning the other foot, seis, sete, 
8, go a little lower, just a little bit, not too much. 9, 10. Okay, let's do the other side. I'm just going to step back a little bit. And, um, we are understanding the engine of the movement. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now we soft the, the knees from here and close. Great. Okay, next part now is that we're going to learn something about the arms. This is a tip that really helps me and I think may help you as well. I, when I train just the molar, which we're going to develop throughout the class, I actually put one hand on top of the other and really push like this. So I'm pushing, this arm is pushing there and then the same thing to the other side. So as I go here, as I'm going this way here, the same hand is in front and the other hand is pushing. So the leg that I'm bending, you can have a little turnout on your toes. The leg that I'm bending, I'm pushing the hand in front. That's gonna, that's gonna give you a bit more strength to balance out. And I want you to think of leaning forward. Don't be shy here. So this is not about falling like this. At least not for this movement. So we lean forward and come back. We're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. Okay, so here we go. So we put the hand in there. Your case will be the right hand, and you're gonna pull your right arm with your left arm. So we go. Um, that foot only lifts after you go halfway, that foot starts to lift. Dois. You can point that foot now. And it's going to be easier on your heel. You don't need to dig your heel to the floor on your bones. Just keep that foot pointed. Three. Let's look for nice lines now. And stretch. Quatro. You will see the transformation of the movement. Cinco. Você vai ver a transformação do movimento depois. Seis. Sete. Oito, nove, pull, pull, dez, let's change side, and um, I'm pulling with the arm, really strong guys, dois, will all get much easier, três, quatro, let's point that foot now, cinco, Seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Beautiful, beautiful. Come back center and stretch. So for now, I'm just building some drills, warm up. We're gonna get into the movements very soon. I just need to do a few more things to unlock the ideas. But I do wanna make a point that this movement molar, I know my students who have been practicing for a while with me know this. And you can even picture right now masters that make, or great capoeiristas that make this movement so beautiful in their game. Such as, obviously, the classic example that comes to mind is Mestre Dunga. Maybe later I even show you a video. Because he puts character, he puts his, um, really, his, his artistic vein is in Mola. And he used as a spring, when he goes to a Mola and come up into a Awu or something like that, you can really see the consequence of the next movement. Yeah? So this goes back to that idea that I spoke the other day about the, the, the table, what's that, billiard, yeah? snooker, snooker where one ball, I don't know if you heard this example, here we go again if you haven't, one ball hits another ball, this ball hits another ball, maybe that third ball, never seen the first ball, 
but is now only moving because that first ball. What does that mean? It's a chain of events that momentum can create. And this is what you're doing. You're hitting the ball for the other one. The number three, it's not independent from the number one. Okay? Great. All right, let's go to the floor now. So we're gonna go to the floor from here. Whichever way is easier to get to the floor now, doesn't matter. And we're gonna get into a mola on the floor. Okay, so a mola on the floor. And then from this mola here, we're going to lift and come back down. Now, if I show you in this position here, my body is backwards as if I could just sit down here. Literally, I'm sitting down on the floor now. Very relaxed posture. This knee is pointing up. Now, what I'm going to do from here is to, I want to go towards my hand, but I am really working the triangle shape. Let's, let's take a moment to think. Your foot is one point. Your hand is another point and your base foot is another point. And we need to be aware of this energy here throughout the movement. So the first thing we're going to do is to go over to the hand on the floor. Over to the hand on the floor. Now as you do that, you really squeeze the muscles on the supporting leg, especially the back and the gluteal muscles on your back. So we go. I'm going to start this way so you can see that foot is turned out. So it's an L shape. It's an L shape okay we're gonna go towards the supporting hand be aware of your points um. squeeze dois três quatro cinco seis sete oito 9, 10, very good, and just change side, let's go, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, ok, change leg, rolê, and stretch your wrists, ok, so this movement guys is also a great test of flexibility just to see where you are, for example, with me, one leg really wants to bend forward, so once you finish your wrist stretch, I want you to watch this very relevant point for the technique. I want you to see, and I'm not even exaggerating, how much the, the other leg wants to bend forward as I lift. And this is lack of strength and flexibility in the area, in uh, imbalance, it's an imbalance, okay? So from here, let me see what side you can see better. So I don't really want this knee, when I go back here, if I don't think about, my knee starts to do this, straight away. And so I want to go that way, there is a line between this foot and this hand. There's a line here, okay? I want to go there and keep this knee here, as I go this way. So you see, it's starting to do this already, look. That's where I want to work, yeah? So if you are doing this, you just want to correct that, go up, doesn't matter how. If I go to the other side, I feel stronger. There's a, there's a better balance here. That doesn't go like that, okay? So we're gonna maintain the knee. Let's do 10 more each side, just to clear that point. Yeah, great, and they can really show an imbalance. Maybe you, maybe you don't have an imbalance, or maybe you discover now. So let's go 10 each side by yourselves. Off you go. Made here. Mola is also a very important part of how to fall. It's, it's also a fall, okay? And I can remember, I can actually remember the circumstances of where I felt someone tripped me and what really saved me was to be in this, in this posture safely, be able to fall in a nice mola. And again, the idea that you can fall into a mola and spring back. Uh, another thing I wanna say before we get deep into the class now 
is if you have if you have the molar class with mesantonio, you can see the depth of these things. All this foint molar, chutadinho, foint molar, passa pescoço. We can go on and on and on. But I am going to start to thread something that I am interested for today. Okay? As this is a... I mean, this class could have many, many, many chapters. Yeah? And indeed should have. So what we're going to do now, it's another simple exercise based with a kick. Right? So this is what you're going to practice now. You're going to go, you're going to exaggerate the entrance from here. You're going to enter with a molar. And then you transfer the weight here. And as, as you transfer the weight, you drag that foot and you can relax into the armada. Jinga, remember that you are doing this to learn something about the movement. And that's why you're exaggerating the movement. So we jinga. And then you see how my body wants to go there? Because that's what the jing is doing. I am holding this energy and just my leg is going there. If you can get this, you're going to have a major discovery right now. Right now. So my body wants to go there, but I use that momentum, but just my leg goes there. And then I twist. And as I do that, I turn back my foot. I drag and then I kick. So that's all you're going to practice now. You're going to go. Beautiful entrance there. Really turn out the foot as you transfer the weight. Very good, very good. So obviously that work can be deepened, just that. Yeah, so something that I train, which I'm not telling you to train now because that I think requires my assistant. Like I, I would be good for me to see everybody, to see who is safer to do that. But to take this particular movement, uh, the, to develop the idea of the chain, it's when I, um, you know, go quite deep into that molar to come back up. Because then you're really asking from your boy all this strength here. And then you start to get all these other swing ideas of the movement, okay? But don't do that now. We're just going to keep the idea. Now, this is a gentle transition. A gentle transition, I think, is very cute. Um, what we are going to do from here, you go to your back foot and you lift the leg. So you do your armada here, that foot goes back. So as your armada goes back, I want you to lean forward. I'm going to show you sliders as well. And then you pick on that leg and you come back forward. So the way to do that is to think, the best way to do that is to think like you're going to do a chapa. That's the best preparation because the body does the perfect turn, okay? So I'm going to do my armada here. I lean forward now. I come back, prepare for chapa. But it's not a chapa, it's just a coming back, okay? So now I, I, I don't want you to do the molar now. I want you to just do an armada. Lean forward so you can focus on here. And then you go back, ready for a chapa. But you don't do a sharp, you just scoop. You just scoop your body back into jinga. Now jinga, armada, here. As you're more advanced, you try to make this connection a little more efficient by making the timing. So I am going back and I already bring the leg. See, I'm not stopping there. I'm going back and I already bring the leg. So you can try it straight away. So I, I'm not sure today, I mean, again, it's just, uh, I know time is good, flies here. But I want to clean the movements now, and I'm going to use one of my best examples that I have been developed, that some of you have seen, others have not seen, but it's the famous pink spade. Yes, some of you have not seen before. I don't feel like I teach have seen. They and Mara have not seen either. The, the thing is, I wanted the sword, you see? I wanted the sword. I, 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 every capoeira master have a, or mestra have a sword at home. 
either made by and I didn't have a sword where is my sword I don't know that's a, okay so I was looking around and I just I saw Sophia Sophia has a pink spade from when she was little she doesn't use anymore uh, she didn't say it's pink it's not cool anymore for some reason for her I love pink um, anyway I'm trying to get pink back because it's not it's not the whole pink for good no it's not that but pink is a good color uh, yeah forget that uh, spade right and it's what does it it's better than the sword because they spade so we want this quality this she also tells me off for saying this we want this quality here when we are back it's boom. Yeah, so we want the spade quality. So I'm going to show you two things about the quality of this movement. Now, if your body is upright, now don't worry too much, guys. One now, you're not going to get all of this perfect. That's why you practice later, blah, blah, blah. But if your body is upright, it doesn't feel the same. Okay, it feels a bit cold. Yeah, for this, it's better to lower the body and then you can change that rule. But for now, if your body is upright like this, it just feels too much here. See here, you know, which by the way, again, I'm just gonna make this as a point. It's cool. There are people that play like, they are masters, they are amazing at that. But I want to extract something. So watch, as you go back here, the reason why you're leaning forward is so you can really scoop. Whoa, pink spade again. I'm gonna do the pink spade. So he goes, there's two spades here, look. Okay, believe you me, you should get one. It's an amazing feeling. All right, so we're gonna put the three things together for now, okay, which is this. We're gonna go a little deeper here. Expression here, pull towards you. Lean forward, come back with the hand. Now you go one, like a hastera that is open too. Be gentle on this knee. Don't drag your feet so much. So it goes. Scoop, hasera. Okay, change foot. Again, hasera, change foot. Turn back. I will work with beginners. Just watch again, and then you're gonna practice, 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 and I work with beginners. Last one, watch. So we go. Expression, mola. Spring, kick. Spade, spade one, two, turn around, and jinda. Okay, you can start already, go follow me, beginners. Beginners, expression. Up, transfer the weight. Kick, back, then we go right. Sweep, transfer the weight here, step back, low skiva here, and jinga. One, begins with me, two, three, mola, mola, come up, lean forward, and boom, two, Change, go back, jinga, jinga, one, two, three, other side, one, beginners, two, Right leg, um, turn, dois, back, three, switch, change side, fall backwards, and jinga, jinga, um, dois, três.
kick is a kick. So this is sharp here in terms of strength. And then it's a kick here. But here, there's something about, well, there's something here that is a bit like, ah, uh, so it's, uh, and then there's something here now, which is like, uh, and it's, uh, and then it's, uh, yeah? Don't make the whole thing like here. Use this and this. Uh, and melt, you know, and melt and sharp. Yeah, that's two tasks. I'm gonna go quickly over them. I want my beginners to do the first task and then I've got two extreme, you guys can see where you are, okay? Remember, use this idea of begin and advance just for generalization. But it might be a day where you can't do the order, just do the basic. It's all capoeira important stuff, all right? It doesn't mean that one thing is more fancy than the other. Okay, but for uh, it, it follows a natural pattern that as you fall backwards, you go into another Skiva, another molar. So this is option one. As I go here, sounds funny, isn't it? Option one. As I go here, so I go pa 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 pa. That's it here, and then from here I'm going to bring this leg in and turn my body forward. So I land like this, turn my body forward, and just stand up. So that will be beginners, yeah? So as you fall backwards, last movement here, you bring the leg in first, turn your body forward. So profile, in, forward, and then maybe a little awu, maybe a little awu, to stand up. Now advance, as you fall backwards, I want you to go towards your hand. As you fall backwards, I want you to go towards your hand. So it's counterintuitive. So as you fall backwards here, I want you to go here. Then you're gonna open this leg, you're going to faint, faint, and come back this way. And then from here you coil the body, and you do out. Okay, so as you land, last movement, you land, instead of just falling this way, you go in, and then you just open. Now you go up, and you bring like a quarter cup in, here. Once you're here, keep your feet. Walk with your hands and then readjust for last hour. So if I'm facing you now, I go here. Now, I can tell you that this you need to workshop. So don't go and think you're gonna get it straight away. Just workshop, and this is how you should approach this, as learning, rather than repeating so much. Off you go, I'm gonna continue doing both versions in front of you to clarify the movement. Starting with beginner's version. Advance. 